So at this time, a video I made called Raymond Style or Substance should be out. Matter of fact, it should be the first video on the channel. If you haven't seen it, you should. Please. But basically, the video was me sucking Raymond's non-existent dick. In this video, it's more like me giving Raymond sound. God, that's so fucking off. In that video, I complimented Raymond's style and art while I dissed a little about the gameplay. This one is just me fucking complaining about Rayman Legends, with my claim that Rayman Legends was a giant leap down. Alright, before I continue, I'm gonna give you guys some... Background. Both for the game and my experience, since I believe how you play the game affects how you think of a game. So I played Origins on my PS Vita back around 2012. And I fucking loved that game. I loved the style, music, gameplay, the fairies. I thought it was a 10 out of 10 back then. Anyways, a year later, Legends will come out and that was the first time I was really hyped for a game. I remember watching the trailers and playing the demo and shit. I bought it for the PS Vita the first day it came out. I had to be the only person to buy it on PS Vita the first day it came out. So there was one thing that I found weird back when the game released and it was the inclusion of Murphy. Not as a character but as a mechanic. You see, Raymond Legends was supposed to be a Wii U exclusive but it later last minute got ported onto a different console because, well, it was a Wii U. And it was ported onto these consoles that didn't have a touchscreen. And with that, I want to talk about the first fuck up. Murphy as a character is cool, he's goofy and stuff. What bothers me though is when he's a spotlight of the game. Now I played a game on my PS Vita and my PS4, so first let me talk about my PS Vita. At first I didn't mind Murphy, the missions were sorta of cool. I liked the idea of being like a guardian angel to Raymond and the crew, but as time went on I started to dislike those levels, for two reasons. One being that it really fucked up the flow of the game. Raymond is a platformer and I loved Origins cause of that. And also the way you can sort of combine these animations are so smooth and fluid. It was so smooth and fun to like walk and run and jump around. But to take that away and replace it with you moving blocks and touching the screen, it wasn't a good trade. Reason 2. It gave you the feeling of missing out, especially in a thousand lumps under the sea. Or looms. I fucking love Splinter Cell. So to have a spy world with a glow box fisher skin was a dream come true. And while well, yeah, there were missions, some of them were replaced by Murphy. And this is where the console made a big difference. Hopping on a home console, Murphy is only controlled by one button. And instead you play a character that would have been an AI on the Vita. And while this was a good way to solve the problem, it did come with some negative consequences. I think the big one I suffered through was how Murphy now jumps from thing to thing. So it never really lands on the spot you want in case you want to go somewhere tricky or in case you're falling. And I don't think this shines the brightest until you go to Fiesta de los Muertos, cause it's just god awful to control. With the PS Vita, you could build your own path using the touchscreen on the PS Vita, which made it easier to reach certain spots or go to secret locations. But with the home console, it's on a chosen path, so reaching a certain secret can be complicated. But again, that's all they could've done, I just think they fucked up trying to implement Murphy into the game. Again, I get why they implemented him, but I just, I think it was a bad idea. It really fucks up the gameplay and the pacing of the game. Okay, next fuck up. Oh, this fucking on my back. I think the world choices aren't great at all here. I think they're boring and bland and like, not good. The only ones I could really say I like is a dozen looms under the sea. That's pretty much it. And I'm not saying they're all bad or anything, but have you played Fiesta de los Muertos? The world specifically is bad in my opinion. It focuses a lot on the touchscreen mechanic of the Vita or Wii U, and it just doesn't translate good on other consoles. I'm trying not to compare it to Origins, but let me compare it to Origins. Legends has mixed levels. Control Murphy, control the character, defeat Mr. D, see the reskin girl, and it's not really a good mix. It's not bad either, but it can't fuck up the flow. It's not smooth. It feels like every level isn't connected. But Legends also has lame world designs. I mean, it's beautiful, don't get me wrong. The people behind the games do put in time and effort and they should feel proud of what they made. But I just don't think it's the most creative. They had the material for some good worlds but I feel like they never go for it. Like you have a castle world but you only gave us Dungeon and Dragons. Hey Dungeon and Dragons. Uh, I, <laughs> I didn't realize it. <laughs> you give us the land of the dead and you give us guacamole and wrestlers. You give us Greek mythology and you give us a maze and some little black shits that insta kill you. And yeah, you could say Origins isn't creative at all, but that was a test run. Now they had to go and improve on the test run. Anyways, 
on to the third fuck up. This one's gonna be kind of shorter because it's more of my opinion and personal driven rather than like a big thing I could really argue about. But I hate the hub of the game. There's pretty much no personality, no flavor, no taste, no nothing. Speaking of which, the side activities aren't at all interesting. The flashback to Origins are cool, but we already played the game. Why wouldn't we play it again? The challenges are alright, but I'd rather have the ability to play with friends online than to compete with them. The monsters are useless too, they just sit there and make looms and shit. And what's the point of making looms money? It reminds me of New Super Mario Bros for the 3DS where they are like, hey collect all these coins and in the end you don't get shit. I mean except here you get costumes but why? Origins had a better system giving you an incentive to go play and 100% all the levels. Cause then you'll get a cool skin, but in this game the system is getting all these looms and maybe you'll save up for the best skin in the game. And I don't want to keep replaying this game just to get so many fucking looms for skins. I'd rather just play the games, finish the level, 100% it cause it was easy and Rayman and boom you get all the fucking skins. Origins had to go back to 100% a level and when you're done, you're done playing, that's it, you can move on. Basically this is all a build up for the last fuck up. When looking back at my old video, I defended the game a lot because I loved the style and personality that the game had. Looking at Legends, it kinda lost that feel, that personality. Like there's nothing that makes it stand out as a platformer. Sure, there are cool set pieces and the worlds admittedly are really good to look at. They sort of lost that charm that the game came back on. A sort of more goofier take on Rayman and his world. Legends feels like too down to earth. These places sure are creative but there's nothing to them. The progression of the game too is not good at all. It's only narrowly connected by the fact that the clones are on a planet in the end. There's no sense of progression, it just feels like things are happening. The same with Origins but at least they had an idea going in. They had an idea presented when they introduced a second round of islands. Legends overall just feels more bland, like it's not a sequel. Rayman is a special game to me. I grew up playing it on my Game Boy, to my DS, and to my PS Vita. And I hate to see it get, in my opinion, downgraded on different levels. It's not a bad game, it has a higher meta score than Origins even. It's just not what a good sequel should be. It doesn't feel as good or creative, and no pun intended, original as Origins. But it's whatever, they're both great games and they don't have to be compared at all. Unless you're making a mediocre video about it on YouTube. In that case, Legends feels like a step down from Origins. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Uh Subscribe if you want to, leave a like if you're you know if you find the shit interesting. Um and yeah, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it and I'll see you guys next time. Late. That took me 20 fucking minutes, do you imagine?